Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. This is Honey that I'm riding today. I've had her in a couple of weeks. Um, one of the things that the owner specifically asked me to work on was one was her go, which I did a, uh, some posts about how we got her to go. And the other thing was to work on her neck rein. So I'm going to do a little bit of a video today, and I'm going to talk to you about how I'm working on her neck rein, but also how the neck rein is just one tool of controlling the horse's body and direction. Um, we want the horse to neck rein as far as a western horse, but that is only one part of the tool, one, one tool in how we control their body. Um, first, let me talk about what a neck rein is. When we ask the horse to point his nose, if I pick up this rein and point the horse's nose, that's considered the direct rein. Okay? If I ask to put the outside rein on, like this, that would be the neck rein. That would be to tell the horse to go off this direction. So, direct rein, neck rein. Okay, so that is only, steering off of the neck rein is only one part of the equation. Um, in the English world, that would be called a supporting rein. Uh, basically, in Western horses, we, we use the outside rein to support, but we carry it one step further so that we actually get the horse to move off of that rein, and that goes into the neck rein. Um, Basically, when I put the neck rein on, I want the shoulders to step across. So I've done a video already about the range control of the shoulders. Uh, if you want to get some more information about that, you can watch that video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by just walking around, walk a few circles, steer. Now, when you're training a horse to do anything, you want to ask with your finished product, what you want your finished product to be. So I want her to steer off her neck rein. So I'm going to ask with the neck rein. And if she gives me some, that's great. If she don't, that's okay too. Steer neck rein, pull the direct rein. Neck rein, direct rein. So, neck rein, direct rein. The other part of this equation is, is I also can control her shoulders. If you think about the reins, I don't really care where her face points. I can get her to neck rein with her face point the opposite direction. The thing about steering a horse, any horse, it's a matter of controlling their shoulders. Some of you, if you've ever had a horse run off with you, it seems like it don't matter what direction that horse's nose is facing. He can, I can pull her nose over to my shoulder and she can still go off that direction. You still have to support that shoulder. It's the shoulders and the legs that are doing the steering, not really the face. The face is a part of it, but the shoulders is what actually steers. Okay, so the other part of that equation is using my legs. If I want this horse to step over to the right, I can open my right leg a little bit, push with my outside leg, and get her to step over a little bit. So, I can control her stepping over this direction with my inside rein, outside rein, outside leg. So what I'm going to do to work on that neck rein is I'm going to work on asking with the neck rein first. Neck rein, direct rein, outside leg. And over a period of time, that horse is going to realize that when I put this neck rein on, that was just off neck rein. If I put the neck rein on, more pressure is coming. Now, I want the horse's nose to point the direction that I'm going in right now. I'm walking some circles. I want her nose to point in the direction of the circle we're walking. My end product, I don't want the horse to steer with the nose looking to the outside. I want the nose looking where we're going. So I might pull harder to get the shoulders to move across and actually pull the nose to the outside, but that's not what I want my end product to be. My end product is going to be the nose pointing to the inside and the shoulder stepping around. There we go. Nice right there. So we walked a few circles here. Let's see if I can ask her to step across and basically cut my circle in half. There we go. And that was pretty much neck rein. I had made her point her nose a little bit. There she's wanting to look to the outside. Point her nose a little bit. I had a little bit of spur right there. Now, in the beginning, I kind of used my legs and my spurs 
It's kind of like, hey, pay attention. I'm asking you for something. So I'll go to my leg or my spur last, or if her attention, I hear a dog barking off in the distance. If her attention goes off to that dog, I might just touch her with my spur. But hey, pay attention. I'm up here asking you for something. So now, if I do use my spur, if you watch my leg, I never, I never bang, I never bump. It's always going to be a push. So here I'll get her around so you can see. I'm going to push my outside spur and a little bit of a push. Steer. Good. Steer. There's a dog over that way. Kind of gets her attention. But that's okay. And, and as I'm training a horse, whatever distractions there are in the arena, there, there's some cows down at the end of the pen. There's a dog over there. Her pasture is out over that way. I don't worry about those distractions. If she gets distracted about whatever it might be, all that is is an opportunity for me to teach. So if she's distracted about a barking dog, I'm just going to be, hey, pay attention. I'm asking you to do something. Later on, uh, most horses are going to go on to do something, whether it's showing in just events or it might be timed events or even if it's just trail riding. If something gets that horse's attention, I still need to be in control. I still need to be in charge of that horse. So no matter what gets their attention, their attention needs to come right back to me. If whether I'm showing in an arena and they're looking at something outside the arena or if uh, we might just be trail riding and the noise in the bush gets their attention. I need to get their attention back to me. All right, let's walk the other direction a little bit. If you watch my uh, beginning spin video, where I bend them to the inside, bend them to the outside, I talk a lot about that, how I use that to get started with spin. And really all a spin is, is a steer carried further so that I'm just going around and around instead of just steer. So it's a little bit more stiff this direction. So let's steer, steer, a bit of lag right there because she's stopping, a little bit of squeeze with my legs, steer, there we go, steer. Now, I'm making my contact soft and I'm building that contact. So contact soft and steer, add a little bit of pressure. I want to give her a chance to steer off of a light contact, that was better. Because I don't want to have to pull hard every time. So, contact. There. That wasn't too bad right there, just on the soft contact. First learning something. We have to think about it, but after we do it enough times, it just starts to happen, and we really don't think about it as much. She's at the stage now where when I ask her, there we go, she has to think about it. I want to do it enough times that it becomes a little more second nature to her. So, I'm going to keep reinforcing this not going to do anything different. Keep reinforcing it over the next few days. And then gradually that will build into improving her steering as a whole with the neck rein being part of that steering. So I just want to recap as far as just, just stress. Everybody that rides western wants their horse to neck rein. But the neck rein is just one part of controlling your horse. So this is a brief picture of how I teach the neck rein as part of a, a complete picture of controlling your horse. So I want to thank you for watching today. Um, a couple of videos I refer to you might want to go back and look at is the reins control the shoulders and the other one is my beginning spin uh, video talks about bending to the inside, bending to the outside. Both those two videos will help you in teaching your horse to neck rein but also teaching better steering in your horse as a complete package. So I want to thank you for watching today.